Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to discuss on how we can give domain to a field in Odoo 16. So as you can see, this is my custom module and here I have given some views. If you go to the back end here, so this is the Python page of my custom module. As you can see, I've given a model, custom model that is company.employ and here I've defined some fields and uh, I uh, I've also defined some fields in the view and here I you can see that I've given the form view and the tree view for my custom model. So if you go to the front end here, if you go to the module that I've created, if you go to the form view here, I've created a form view for my custom module. And as you can see here, there's a field called name where all the records of the res.partner is visible because I've given the field as many to one field of res.partner. So let me give a domain for this field. So I'll give the attribute domain and let me search for it in the add-ons. So you can see multiple examples about the use of domain. So let me copy one of the domain from here and paste it in my field so let me just copy it again and let me paste it in my field here and here let me give the condition so i want the records to be visible only with the form field true so let me give the condition here so after giving the condition now just let me run the code so after running the code let me refresh the ui and after refreshing the UI, you can see the records only with the phone field to be true. As you can see, all the records have the phone field true here because we have the we gave the domain condition as the phone field should be true. So let me go back again to the PY page of my custom module and here let me show you how to give a domain using a function. So here I have given a function so as you can see that I have given a function here which returns the same result that is the records with all the phone field to be true from rest.partner so I will be calling this function in my field so this is the function name let me copy the function name here and let me give the function name after giving the function name let me run the code and let me refresh it. So once you refresh it, if you go to the field here, you can see only the function, uh, only the records with the no name field to be true. And again, the domain has been set for the field. So this is how you give domain using a function in Odo 16 and now let me go to the views and let me give this same domain in the views so let me just copy the domain from here so this is the domain and you can see that the partner id is defined in the form view so let me give it as the domain here and let me copy this let me search for this domain in the XML. So you can see multiple examples about the same domain here. So let me copy one of the examples from here. And let me just paste it.
after giving the domain here let me give the condition for my field that is i'll give the same condition for the field here that is phone field should be true so let me give the condition here and after giving the condition let me run the code and let me go to the ui and once you have made changes in the xml let me go to the app let me upgrade my custom app here and once i upgrade the custom app you can go to the module and if you check here the same domain has been applied for the condition so if you go to the py here let me just remove this domain from here and let me show you the domain that is created using the views so let me just close this and let me run the refresh the ui and you can see the records only with the condition which we have applied on the domain is visible here so this is how you give domain to a field in order 16 that's all for today thank you